All right, Dr. Shankapotamus here again. We're going to be working on the uh, 2009 Honda Odyssey, replacing the driver's side window, and I'll show you why in just a little bit. Uh, from the Honda manual, I have a few things. You might want to screenshot it and um, to get a copy of it. There's the first one. Is that coming over? Yeah, that's pretty good. This first one, that's a schematic of the door, layout of the door. All right. Let's see what else we got here. We got the uh, removal of the, the panel. Okay, that's what we're going to be doing. I've already done the driver's side, so it's pretty straightforward, but I thought it'd be nice to throw the um, pages out of the Honda manual in here. That's a, well, you guys can screenshot them and print them or whatever you want to do to them. There's the uh, second part for getting the, uh, the door liner out. out. Alright, and then the window's pretty easy once you get that out. Here's the top corner of it right here. It just lifts up and out. I'll show you a few tricks. If you're not careful, you could break the glass or cut your hand. Wear gloves, right? Wear gloves, break stuff from the glass. You could take fingers off. Anyway, well, we'll go ahead and go over here and get started. All right, well, here's what we're up to. Whoever had the car before me, I've had it for a while, but anyway, whoever had it before me, I don't know if you can tell, but when you focus up here on the, on the window, it's hard to see, isn't it? You can look there in the mirror, just trust me. No, you, there you go, now you can kind of see it. Look towards the back, there you go. Nice. So it turns out the people before me actually put um, a uh, window tint on here. And over time that window tint has just peeled up. I guess you could take a razor, shave all this stuff off, clean off the window. You know what? eBay is a great thing. So I went on eBay, got a used window. Um, it's over there on the bench. We're going to take the used window from over there, plop it in here. Let me show you how we do it. All right, a couple of tools that really come in handy. Um, this little bad boy here for getting up underneath and lifting off the little rivets that, um, I guess they're not technically rivets, they're little push, push things. Anyway, that secure your panel, all right, to your door. Um, do be careful with one like this, if you're using this with the metal, get something between the metal and your paintwork, if you're up against the paintwork, okay, just so you don't scratch things up. Um, these, this set, these are a little bit better. Um, if you get the stiffer one, sometimes it's enough to get it off. I use the metal one just for the stubborn ones. Um, you can tell they've been used quite a bit. I'm going to get you a set of these guys. Um, they're non-marring, so you can pop those little uh, connectors and things off. All right, well, we'll get started here. All right, so we're looking at the uh, door handle here. First step, let me back up here just a little bit for you. The first step is get the window down um, right here and actually this inside cover what you're after there's a cover right here inside the handle you want to get that off that gets access to your screw um, to take off your door cover here um, here's another little handy tool everybody should have a set of these in your shop all right that's not coming to focus very well is it I think you get the picture there we go um, the passenger side I did just using the blue tool here you know, I was able to get up underneath it and just lift it up. It doesn't seem to want to come off, so this is what I've got. I'll show you. There's a little tab. You get underneath the tab, the little hook on this helps you to get a hold of it. They do make a tool for this if you want to go, you know, onto some website and buy a $50 tool. Who knows? But uh, let's see if you guys can see this. Yeah. Okay, so slide up underneath the, slide up underneath the tab, turn just a little bit. You'll see where the tab is. You've got to get that tab lifted up. Then you have to have something that'll get a hold of the panel from the back. See? That's how it comes out. I mean, it's inside. I realize that's metal. It might make a little scratch. Um, but it's, it's inside your panel. This helps a little bit to see what it actually looks like. Okay, look at that. See the little tab? And the way that it attaches. There we go. There. It pinches down. So you have to come in from the other side here, get up underneath it. Oops, sorry. Come from the other side, get up underneath it. Okay, I'm sorry it won't focus. There it is. 
and uh, pinch it and then get behind it and pull it out. So you, but that, if you have trouble with it, that's how it comes out. Once you've got that out, you will see two screws back here. Just regular Phillips head. Go ahead and take those out. All right, so we got the two screws out over here. I'm gonna zoom it in there just a little bit. There you go. See where the where the screws are back in there. You can see one of the holes in the top, one at the bottom of the top. So they're out. Your next step is to get your control panel here off. All right. Let me show you where that is. When you when you look right back in behind, if I can get a good shot of it, you will see a small little divot right there underneath the panel. Similar kind of thing as what the other one is. You got to get up underneath that, press it, and then you can lift this panel up and out. And once I got it out, I'll show you um, how it looks on the back side. That always helps you understand the best way to get it out without breaking anything. So let me get up underneath there and we'll pop that out. Let me show you how I got this one off. You'll see that little divot. There's a clip in the back. I just simply went up underneath there. You see how it starts to lift up. There's going to be clips down the side. Okay, let me get these for you. It's going to be clips down the side, here and here. And as you pull on up, these things will come on off. So let me just see if I can show you here. Oops, sorry about that. A little wiggleage. Okay, here we go. Okay. As you come along here, you're going to have a clip in the front. And you should be able to lift it up and out. And then we're going to disconnect the wires and get it up and out of our way. Okay, so you're going to see here on your connectors, I've got it flipped up. You can see the electrical connectors. There's a catch right here, middle of this one, catch in the middle of this one, right? Get your catch in, these things should come right on out. There you go. You yank all day long without pulling that, you're going to break wires, tear wires, stretch things. Do it like this, come straight on out, let's hope. Well, let me get a hold of this one better. That one doesn't want to come out. I'm going to turn him up, I think I've got a little better leverage on him. Pushing on that tab from the back, and there you go, out. Okay, here you can see these tabs that you want to be sure you don't break. Here's the one in the back. Is that, is that focusing? Okay, good. There's the one in the back that you're popping out first. Okay, so you see how it'll, it'll pop right out. You throw the tabs down the side in the back and the front. Be sure you don't wrench this thing back and forth, you'll break those off. Come straight off the back, straight up, out, no worries. Okay, so now we've got that out. We're gonna move on. Okay, so now your next step, this is, we just took this off. There's two screws and then clips. Hidden right down inside there, can you see that? There you go, Phillips head screw, tucked right in there. All right, that's, that's why you have to take that panel off to get to that, plus you wanna disconnect the wires. Sorry with the movement, but you got another screw that is right underneath the bottom here. Let me get this for you. Sorry for the shaky with the camera here, but let me show you where you are. Bottom of the door, I guess that's gotta come out. That's for school. Um, that screw's kinda obvious. Another screw right there. So you're gonna take out the screw that we just saw up here, right? And then underneath, then you'll pop the clips. There's clips behind, around the edge, and it should come off. Okay, so here you can see the location of those clips on the door, approximately. Across the bottom, there's three of them. Up the side, there's three. Up the outside, there's three. So I'm gonna get a hold of those, with this. I may need the metal piece. If I do, I'll put something against, you know, my paint and the, and the metal. Screws are out, we're gonna pop the retainers off here, the little clips. So we got the clips off. I did have to use the metal to get these clips off. You can start at the back side here, lifting up here. The clear, and then it slides back just a little bit. And I'll try to show you, you're gonna reach behind there and unhook your uh, connector for your, your door handle. Let's take a look. 
Okay, this is how the door looks once you have it off. You have a connector here. Let's see how that makes a little right angle. This electrical connector, you're going to have to undo this to, to get your wires off. Let me show you the back of the panel. Okay, looking at the back of the panel, you have this little piece here. It fits right up inside there. You can pop it off the side here, and then it slips out. That right angled metal piece goes in there. And that's your clasp there. Okay, so now you gotta get this <coughs> plastic panel off right here. You got a connector here. It's just gonna pull and pop out. One over here, we're just going to pull and pop out, and then try to preserve your seal once you take it off. You're going to have to use that to reseal. If you mess that up, you have to store by some more. I have some for the BMW. I guess you use the same thing here. It's slightly different, but anyway, we're going to pop this rivet out. We'll pop this one out, and you'll be able to reuse them. Now, let me pull it out here and show you how it works. There you go. It's just a little plastic piece. Fits right in there. I just got up underneath the back of it, you know, not on any any uh, paint or anything, up underneath it and pop it out. It should pop all the way out if I can get it to. Oh well, you'll see we get it back in. Yeah, very simple. There you go. See that right there. Out. Okay, so once I've got the panel off, or the plastic off, plug this back in briefly, you know, back here, turn the key on real quick. There's two screws right here, you can see through these holes that'll help that you're going to need to be able to take the glass off. So um, with it being powered, it's not going to move until you plug it back in. Pull the glass up to these points. You're going to go through here, take those bolts out. Then we're going to lift the glass out. Oh, gloves. They might not be great if the glass completely cuts loose, but they're sticky on the side right here. So it helps really stick to that glass. So hopefully it won't cut anything, tear anything. I'm all in my hands to get this out. So you're going to use a, <clears throat> sorry, it's a 10 millimeter socket. Um, pop these screws out and then we'll lift the window up and out. Okay, so we're working right down here. And from the side here. You now see the door, I said make sure it's, there's a support underneath it that holds the door, but I mean the window. You just make sure you've got the window supported and you know it's not going to fall down the back. All right, a little bit of engineering here. Nice bar there for safety in the door. Let's see if we can get this window out. The problem is with the window, and I'll show you this. Let's come back up here. All right, so we got the window just about to come out. The problem with this window, what I found out before, is getting the back to clear and the front to clear. Right. The manual says to bring it up this way and then bring it out here. It's it's actually kind of tricky. You want to get that back to clear, and then you can come out the front. If I show you the other window over here, you'll see a little bitty chip way up here in the front that's hidden when you close the window. And that's where trying to get it back in. I didn't slide it back in far enough front first and then back. Okay, so back out. Clear this to the outside, and then the window will come up and out. All right, when you're putting it back in, front in, back down, and into place. Here we go. So now we're going to work with getting the window out. A little trick that's not in the manual, I'll show you that I do, is to give you more room to work in there. See, I dropped it down. You know, hook my control back up to here. Lower the uh, white plastic support for the window all the way down so it's out of my way here in the middle. Okay, let me come back up here. I'm going to show you this thing can be a real pain.
pain in the fanny. The manual says just to bring it up and out with the corner here and out, but it just won't, it won't go. You've got to bring it down and tilt it more inside of the door just a little bit, okay? So I'm going to show you, once you get down to about right here, you can tilt it inside the door like this and then start to bring it out like that right there. See that? And then once you got this end out over here, you're free and clear. The manual says to bring it all the way up to this corner here and tilt it up. It's never going to work. And you really have to get this piece back out of the way. And when you slide it down like that, lift it out, it actually comes out very easily once you get it kind of cattywampus in the, uh, in the door. All right, we'll drop the other one in. We'll be done here very shortly. All right, so we've got the replacement window here. We've got it kind of cleaned off. I'll finish uh, cleaning off the markings and stuff on it. 07, still fits this one. Uh, still fits my 09. All right, we're gonna drop it in just like we got the other one out, right? Make sure you got plenty of room. Now, the channels, you got these channels on the side you gotta line it up with. And of course, up in the front, too. So once you get down far enough, then you can start to manipulate it. You get it onto the channel in the back, onto the channel in the front, and work it in. Be careful not to break it, of course. That would be poor form. There we go. Just like that. See that? And now you need to go back, hook up your power down here, and raise your support for the window back up. You do want to be careful as you're bringing that up that you don't hit and crack your window, okay? So the window can stick or you can get a friend. You know, I'm just gonna let it kind of sit here because it, it sticks pretty well. And then when I get ready to lift it up, I'll hook up the power and pull it up to where I can access here and we will uh, screw the window back in. Here we go. All right, so you can see I just let the window settle into the, the connector right there, the plastic lift, lifter that's on your uh, hook up to your motor. So anyway, and now I'm lined up, put my screws in. Let's see here. Oops, sorry. So now I'm lined up, screw them down, and uh, we will be golden. Let me get this where we can see better what's going on. Still have the power hooked up here so I can test it once I uh, get it on there better. All right, what here and here is where we're going. You can see the white piece just behind it, right there. Okay. Let's come snug it down. I'll check for you though and see what we got. Yeah, there you go. So if you want to look at the torques, it's um 9.8, 9.8 newton meters on these guys. So not much force on them. Now I'm still hooked up, all right? So before I put everything back on, let's make sure the window's working right. Well, let's turn the key, then let's we'll see what happens. Turn the key always helps. There you go. Okay, sweet. We're in like Flynn. Let me start putting the door panel back on. So first we do is reattach the plastic cover. Pretty simple, goes right back on the way it came off.
So now we have our plastic cover back on. We will get our uh, door panel. Remember this little bad boy? Goes up into your handle. Let's see here. See it? The end that it's got. All right. And you're going to plug in here with your other green connector. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so we've got our panel. Uh, let me zoom out here just a little bit. Oh, wrong way. So we've got our panel back up here almost on. I snapped in the little right angled metal piece that you saw on the back end here. Um, over here to this side, hooked up the. Uh, the wires there again coming down for the lights. Um, and then what you're going to want to do, the same way you took it out by lifting, let me zoom out, whoa buddy, by lifting this back end out first and then sliding here, you want to do the exact opposite, obviously. Set this end in first. It's got a lip right here and it's got the, uh, what goes against the window right here, the do wipes, I think they're called. And you want to slip that inside the door here and then slide it down. There's a wire that's coming down right here that's going up to control your mirror. Um, just gently tuck that up underneath. You know, be careful not to grab that and tear it off. It needs to be tucked underneath as you come through. And then once you get to this point, um, zoom back out, sorry. You should be able to slide this on down and come in over the uh, little lock here that's uh, sticking up. All right, over the little lock right there that's sticking up. So we'll slide this on down and then we'll start securing it. So that's pretty easy. It's slipped down now. We're going to go through where those uh, clips were and you just, it's that simple. We got clips on this side. In. In. Okay. And then we go across the bottom, same thing, make sure you snap those clips in. Then we'll go back, secure screws here, screws here, um, slide this, slide your control back on, um, screws in here, put your cover back in, you got a new window. Alright, so now we have uh, the clips pushed in all the way around, you know, three down this side, three down the front, three across the bottom. Um, Long screws into here, shorter screws up uh, beneath your handle, okay, and you can hear the handle right over here, and it's hooked up. Pop your cover in here, it's that simple. Now we're going to hook back in here, get these bad boys out here. I know it's turned away from the camera, but it's pretty, here we go, pretty obvious the way that it goes. Here, in, click, you're done. Oh, well, you're not done, you got one more. <clears throat> Bring this one up. I know you can't see from the camera, it's obvious where it goes, though. Now you're all in. Installation is a reverse or removal. Get the front end first. Make sure you're all the way down. There you go. One thing you may want to do while this is out, if you got junk in here, clean this. It's kind of a nice time to clean it up. I don't worry about it. So we're in there. Now let's turn the key again. There we go. I need to clean this off, of course, but works. So there it is. Honda Odyssey 2009 window replacement, but also if you ever need to take your um, uh, take your door panel off, that's how you do it. If you got to get access back there, pretty easy. There you have it. Thank you all for watching.